Just go to San Diego Comic Con before it turn into a media circus. Uh, Comic Cons are so different than they used to be. Stuff that's actually like the Comic Con, so San Diego and New York. It's just weird and surreal now. I haven't been in many years, many, many years. But OG Comic Con was a proper, it had a lot of people going, but it felt like a very community-based, community-oriented convention. And now, yeah, it just feels like a showcase for a lot of media. It feels like um, just a lot of little red carpet events. The merch room isn't even a place where you're gonna buy a lot of merch. It's a place where you're gonna try products and they're gonna try and sell you really expensive shit. You know, they're going to be like, do you want this $1,000 figurine of Spider-Man? And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, what the fuck? But you go to a smaller anime convention and they're like, oh, here's all these little $5 plushies and things that make sense. And it's no, it's just so different. Comic-Con's just not like that. Definitely lost some of that for sure. Figurines can get really expensive. I know, I know. They're insane, dude. They're fucking insane. It's, um, I, I get that they're hard to produce, but... I can't imagine being a collector and spending that much money on that many different figures. It's insane. With the prices that they have at Comic-Con, it's one thing if they're normally priced, but some of them are like, like, like the collector's edition, five times the price kind of things, you know? Imagine dusting all these figures. No, no, no. If you get a lot of figures, if you're a collector, you've got to get one of those glass cases to put them in. Do not leave them out. They will collect dust so easily they'll collect it in every nook and cranny and if you don't like really meticulously clean them off the dust is going to collect and it's going to get gunky you know you know when dust collects it goes from dry dust to like sticky gunky gross it's because a lot of dust has uh silica in it and silica sticks to itself <laughs> and becomes dust that is gluey you know and gross um there are other things too but that's one of the main offenders and it's just it's just nasty it's just nasty so yeah put it in a glass case and you'll still have to eventually clean it but it's uh it's pretty good and then you know what's kind of goaded take um i do this for like my i have some armored core model kits that i've built canned air the stuff that you would use to clean out uh, like a computer canned air right in those joints hit that bitch with the canned air dude it's so good so good Oh yeah, makeup brushes, like a really dense makeup brush, the kinds that are made for packing pigment onto the skin. Like that kind of dense makeup brush. Dude, use those. Oh. That and canned air and you'll be able to clean them really nicely. But you can't just like take a like a Swiffer duster and hit them and expect it to work. It just, it just doesn't get all of it, you know? It doesn't work that well. Ruined my Luffy figure because I set it on a shelf and didn't look close at it for a while. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna see it, yeah. It's not until you touch it where you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> You collect Warhammer minis? I painted so many, but it was like my friend's dad that owned them and I would go to her house and we'd all sit around and paint figures together, little minis, but uh, I never kept them because I was broke. <laughs> so I was like, can I come paint minis with you? Um, I don't have money. And he'd be like, yeah, of course. Come on over, I got new ones. <laughs> but I never really owned a lot myself, but I would go there and play, so it was nice. It was real nice. Just buy figures and then just forgot about them. I don't buy them anymore. I have a few that are in boxes still that I haven't built, but it's it's because I don't have display space for them. You know, I, I just, first of all, I don't own a lot of things like that that are meant to be displayed, like very few. Um, and I don't have a lot of space in general. So I've just left them in boxes and I don't mind. And at some point when I have a bigger office space, I'll have a little glass case in the corner and I'll build the final ones. <laughs> It's not much. It's like I, I have an Armored Core figure. I have an Ultraman one that I need to build. A little model kit. And... Oh, and a Mega Man Battle Network figure. <laughs> those three. Those three that I have to build. Not model kits. I mean anime-ass figures. Yeah, yeah. No, mine are, mine are model kits. All of mine. It's all full model kits. Yeah. Yeah, I like Ultraman. I like Ultraman a lot. <laughs> so I think... um Anything that I do own that's like a model kit or whatever, it's only a few Armored Core model kits that I've done, that I've kept. There's some model kits that I've bought, made, and then like gifted to people. Um, I have this one Ultraman and then that's really it. I, mean, I don't really own a lot of like figures or things. 